Buffy, that was like really quick thinking. Yes. Love to see it. Uh, da, 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 da. No. <laughs> Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for heart analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Buffy the Vampire Slayer reaction. Now today, we are not only bringing you one episode, but we are bringing you two. Mm -hmm. That is right. We are officially doubling up episodes. So that means these beginning and discussions at the end are going to get a little shorter, but the reactions are going to be longer and i am so excited i'm already living for the show now i get to watch twice as many episodes at a time that's right we're gonna be doubling up that means the seasons are gonna go probably a lot quicker but for the better now before we get started y'all know what to do make sure that you like this video subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video and if you want to support the channel even more you can go over to our patreon at patreon.com slash sahara bandwagon where you will find full episode watch longs for every episode of Buffy. And you can also click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And finally, don't forget to check out our Discord where you can talk to us about Buffy and anything else that is on your mind. The link is gonna be in the description below, but without further ado, let's get to slaying. But I expect a certain amount of responsibility and instead of which you en enslave yourself to this, this cult. You don't like the color? <laughs> Buffy has the Buffy. Come on. She needs to be the it girl. Sacred birthright, Buffy. You were chosen to destroy vampires, not to wave pom-poms at people. And as <laughs> hey, cheerleaders do a lot more than that. They also do some splits and tricks. Into your common sense, if such a creature exists. Giles is just as sassy as Buffy. Mm hmm I'm also not entirely sure how I feel about the high pony with the I full like the, side no, still no, down. I love the high pony. I'm questioning the bangs. Oh yes, what bangs? They're like little. <gasps> oh, sorry guys, we love Buffy. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> what in the? Ooh. Okay, so we got some ooey gooey shit. Pretending that seeing scantily clad girls in revealing postures was a spiritual experience. You said I was pretending. Oh, hey. Also, I refuse to believe that the girls here are wearing like crop top, kind of like sporty shit, but Buffy is wearing a, a long sweater. sleeve sweater. If you're not auditioning, move off the floor. Amy. How are there this many people auditioning? How are there so many 25 year olds auditioning for high school? <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Oh, how I hate this. Let me count the ways. <gasps> oh. Ah, uh, dun 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 dun. dun. <sighs> Is this the Mortal Kombat theme? Oh, it sounds like it. I, for a second there, I thought it was. Oh, this girl is on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. Don't you know that in the 1990s, you had to stand up and wave? Has anyone ever put lyrics to this theme song? I feel like it actually would ruin it, but I, I would like to hear what a chorus would sound like. Buffy! She's a slayer. She'll slay Every your day. ass. Oh, okay. Oh, bitch ass, bitch, bitch ass. <laughs> Buff. Va oh, vampire. I have to say vampire at some point. <laughs> Spontaneous human combustion is, is rare and, and scientifically unexplainable, but there have been cases for hundreds of years. Usually, all that's what I'm saying. There was a phenomenon for a while where people were like, people can combust out of nowhere. Is that still true? There are reported cases of spontaneous human combustion over a long period of time that are unexplained. So scary. I don't know. No one knows the cause. In most cases, the person who combusted was, was terribly angry or, or upset. So maybe Amber's got this. Just watch Cody play some video games. 
Listen, none of our controllers have melted yet. There was an accident. Pretty fierce competition, though. Oh, I know you'll do fine. Keep on plugging, just have to get back on. Well, like how she's like, I'm not going to offer any help. You know, it might not physically kill you to give me a hand here. <laughs> she's not wrong. <laughs> I think everyone else is just super oblivious that Buffy is the Slayer. There's this girl, Amy, and um, she trains with her mom like three hours a day. Uh-huh. Sounds like her mom's pretty into it. Let's not compare moms here. If you make the team, you'll find your names posted in the quad after lunch. Let's begin with group performance. Oh, I would feel so intimidated. I'm already nervous. Jump and shoot, swish and soar, the other team is set to four. Yeah! <gasps> That, right? I was just about to say Cordelia was killing it. Wait, is Cordelia not already a cheerleader? I guess not. I totally was getting like head cheerleader vibes from her. No, she's actually just mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of romantic. Well, he was a big loser. Never made any money. Oh. Ran off with Miss Trailer Trash when I was 12. Oh, shit. We're just openly spilling tea, family tea. I never once gained a single pound. Uh, she sounds really it sounds like magic oh shit she's never aged a day in her life and she keeps asking me to pick up dead man's toe from the grocery store mom's kind of nazi like pile if she gains an ounce she padlocks the fridge and won't need anything but bro what tension once for smoke regular smoking with a cigarette not like being smoky hmm. All pretty when she said regular smoking with a cigarette, I did not think like hands on fire smoking. <laughs> I thought marijuana. There today takes me out of the running. You're gonna be so very beyond sorry. Have a nice day. Cordelia is eating these lines. I mean, up. What is scarier, vampire or Cordelia ruining your youth? Cordelia, for sure. We should test for steroids. Okay, not only did you make the team, but you missed Summers of the First Alternate in Amy's number three. And what a better way to celebrate than with... Oh, uh, it's okay. They only fill in if something happens to the ones who did. Excuse me. How interesting. <laughs> I knew you were about to be like, oh, well. Yeah, my house after school. It's just how many more hours a day can I practice? You know, how much more can I do? Wait, a brownie pig out with Buffy sounds like a lot of fun. See, the thing is, Buffy would be that girl that I would be friends with. And she would be the girl who knew that I was gay. So, like, we'd be, we'd be going after school, having some, some food. There were definitely people at my high school who thought I was gay. And I was so offended at the time. And now I'm like, you know what? Fair. <laughs> Give me the power. Ade, due, dembala. Why does that kind of look good? You think kinda, that looks good? It kind of looks like it's creamy. Sacrifice. Are you gonna fucking like suffocate Cordelia. somebody? You decapitate them? No, that's Cordelia Scrunchy from the locker. Photo editor. I got to be on every page. Made me look much more popular than I was. And have you seen the kids that do yearbook? Nerds pick on them. Oh no. That's so mean. I'm not you. And I'm into my own thing. Your own thing, whatever it is, got you kicked out of school and we had to move here to find a decent school that would take you. Ouch. Uh, yeah, listen, I know you were hurt before, but teenagers are gonna be teenagers. Cordelia, you haven't been mean to me all day. Is it something I've done? Okay, see how she has no clue that I'm even a mammal, much as a human being? I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Worse, I'm just a part of the scenery, like an old shoe. Or a rug that you walk in every day, but don't even really see. Willow chewing that pen is so real. Oh, I don't know. What I'm saying is accompany me Friday night. I have to, um, we can pick this up later. You don't mind, do you? Aww. Damn. Now, I'm not going to lie. Xander is the kind of guy that I would have had a crush in high school. I would have been he's like, he's very, so dreamy. Well, because he's just, he's got that boy next door thing. That's true, and I like that. I don't want to drive today, Mr. Pohl. You flunked driver's ed twice already. Show me some moves or you'll be taking the bus to college. <laughs> Start the engine. Hello. Put the car in drive. Oh, dear. 
Slow down. Slow, slow down. Turn right. Turn oh, right. God. Oh, God. Honestly, this was how nervous I was on my driving test. <gasps> okay, really break it. You gotta break it, girl. What? Did anybody want to tell her that she was in the middle of the road? What's happening? I can't see anything. <sighs> Bitch, I can't see. Bitch, snap out of it. Bitch, I can't fucking see. Why should someone want to harm Cordelia? Maybe because they met her? I was just about to say, Willow. It's checked out by... All right, all right. It's not what you think. You like to look at the semi-nude engravings? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Xander. Some aqua fortis. Well, that's just mercury and nitric acid. You can get that in the science lab. Man, it's a good thing we got Willow. Willow is fucking coming in clutch. Those of you in track two, take your hydrochloric acid. I never had to dissect a frog, but I did have to dissect a worm. Read the bottles. <laughs> Concept. <laughs> Oops. Oh God, oh God. Oh wow, you're going in. She definitely didn't look down and watch that. <laughs> Spill it on her. Try and make it look natural. Right behind you only. I mean, this is the moment where I'm gonna be like, Ugh! I just accidentally drop it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. Breathe through your nose, honey. What do you even do? What do you even do? Do you go to the doctor's office? Like, She's our Sabrina. I just don't think she realizes what she's doing. Well, should we talk to her? Maybe we should talk to her mother. I wonder if she knows what she's created. So it was supposed to turn blue. Like that was a positive test? Yeah, that was a positive test. Okay. Another productive day in front of the TV. I got a history report due tomorrow. Write it. This is the most witchy house that I've ever seen. Macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man. Macho, ooh, hey, juice. I don't think I've ever walked down and like wanted to sing Macho Man, <laughs> but maybe I will. Maybe it'll start my day off right. Now I want some orange juice. Orange juice sounds refreshing. Okay, girls. All right, Buff. Turn up the music. Okay, okay. She's going at a 50 and in the opposite direction. Uh -huh. Okay. You better get her out of there. Yeah, before she... <laughs> <laughs> no, that girl's head would have been cracked. Who's our next alternate? Oh. Amy, oh. you just made cheerleader. How Con strange. Conveniently, she's right there. And completely one of the girls. I'm not comfy with him. That's great. I, I don't feel so good. Oh, no. The drugs are wearing off. Though this is come full circle because Xander was like to Willow saying that sh she's one of the guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I'm sure. Uh, Truth, please. A couple of hours, three at most. Hours? I'm uh, Amy Spellbook. And if we can't get a hold of it? Well, the other way is to uh, cut the witch's head off. Show of hands. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Sounds good. Who are you? Um, oh, is there something wrong? Mrs. Madison, we need to talk to you about your daughter. I'm not allowed. You'll have to come back later. I'm not allowed. You've got to go. She's going to be home soon, and you... This girl is very sick. Now, you will shut up, and you will listen to me. <gasps> your daughter... Oh, wait a minute, Giles. <laughs> hold up. Ever since Dad... Her dad left, I can't control her. That's what I was, her. I was thinking. Amy? She swapped bodies. She switched. Oh, a switch? Love it. She said I was wasting my youth, so she took it. Oh, that is chilling. Mm -hmm. Chilling. And that I didn't know how hard it was to be her. And I guess she showed me, huh? What do you even do in this situation? Because if it wasn't for Buffy or Giles, you have no way of telling people. Even if they, tr you could even have them believe them. Collect those dolls and uh, any other person. Ah! Salem? Salem, what are you doing there? You're like, bitch.
This does sound like the Mortal Kombat music. Right? Is it something else? No wonder you didn't get on the cheerleading squad. You're doing everything in slow motion. Oh my god. <laughs> the gag is is that she's still bad. Like she like stole her body and she's still bad. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool, though, that she's seeing visions on the other side. Unlock the gate. Let the darkness shine. Cover us with holy fear. Show me. Yeah, but you're going to put the witch back into her body right here next <laughs> yeah, to you. Yeah, then what are you going to do? And she's probably more powerful because she probably knows shit off the top of her head. Amy, what's your problem? <laughs> Never mess with a girl with an evil stare. Ooh, this is like... Carry level stare. I love it. She delivered. <laughs> oh, yeah, not <Xander>. good. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I just love it so much. Take of mine energy and be sated. Just jowls, like putting it deep into my hole. Like, anyways, <laughs> anyways, anyways. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, I kind of want a killer cheerleader movie. Buffy? Amy? <laughs> oh! I Not mean... fucking quarterback down, linebacker hit. I gave up my life so you could drag that worthless carcass around and call it living. This is what my mom tells me as words of encouragement. Guess what? I feel better. <laughs> Yes! Love to see it. Porsche, take her! Yeah. Oh. Ah. Buffy, that was like really quick thinking. Uh-huh. The writers of the show. Oh, we got like one minute to wrap this up. <laughs> Buffy just kicked that fucking thing down. You guys okay? I'm fine. I assume the... Uh... I do give it up to both the actresses that play the mom and the daughter because they both were able to serve the same character. So, like, mm -hmm. when she got out of her body, she turned into a teenager. Yeah. And vice versa. It wasn't exactly her. I was my mom. Oh. Where is she? Hey, hey Willow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is the energy that we I want. I love this for Willow. I think there's a... A biological imperative whereby I can't understand you because I'm not 16. Do you ever wish you could be 16 again? No, I don't. It was a rocky time, but I don't think so. Nope. The only times, and this is going to sound so nerdy of me, but maybe you guys will appreciate it. I loved the time when I was in the band and doing musical theater. Yeah. That stuff was fun, but like everything else, like imagine having to do homework. Mm -mm. No. And I'm like, Dad, I can go out. It's perfectly safe. But he's... Oh, I totally forgot that she had her dad still. I was like, oh, now she has no parents. <laughs> that last spell, she said I'd never make trouble again. Twisted. Roger's just not knowing where she is, like, forever and ever. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. I love it. That was such a, like, goosebumps ending. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so that was our reaction to episode three from season one. It's called The Witch. Thank you so much for joining us on that one. Overall, the campiness is high. I love just, like, visiting a different being that isn't vampires. Yes. You know? It's like, no, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is more than just vampires. Well, plus, you know, I love witchy shit. So I, I want more. Yeah. Give me more. All right. So we're going to hop on to the next episode. See you there. Every generation, there is a chosen one. I am she like, alone will I'm never ready for it to just start. <laughs> the demons and, and the voices of Eve. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, hold up. What is she wearing? May I cut in? Oh, okay, Xander. Wait, hold on. This is for real a dream, right? 
You all right? <sighs> Thanks to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Not like, the like, my liver. <laughs> oh my God. Sarah Michelle Geller must have had a trip playing this. The two ways that ants communicate. Miss Summers. Ways that ants communicate. Through pheromones and through walking around. Uh, touch. Touch. Set. Leo. Oh, <laughs> close. It's why you should never smush ants because when you smush them, they release a pheromone like, that makes oh, the other ants yeah. like come attack. Let's go. Cut school, get in fights, burn down the gymnasium. Principal Is... Flutie showed me your permanent record. Oh, wow. I can't wait to see what you're going to do here. Destructo girl. It's me. But I suspect it. Oh, buff. For not doing it. Amazingly enough, I don't care. I know you can excel in this class, and so I expect no less. Wait, I love that. I know this. That is was like, really so supportive. Yeah, that was so nice. Please don't listen to the principal or anyone else's negative opinion about you. Let's make them eat that permanent record. Fucking tell them. You tell her that. Let's make them eat that. You Eat it. Something's gonna happen to the Cedra, isn't it? <laughs> it's too positive. It's too positive. <sighs> Someone finally believes in Buffy. And so they're like, <laughs> gotta kill him. Okay, girl. We got creatures from the Black Lagoon. Also, did I add this theme song to my Spotify? Yes, I did. I was secretly hoping that when Xander went to play guitar, it was gonna go right into the theme oh, song. Oh, that would've been cool. Really? Work with me here. Blaine had the nerve to question my manliness. I'm just gonna give him a visual. We'll show him. Oh. Aww. Willow, best friend award. Who's that? That must be Angel, I think. That weird guy that wondered about all the- You don't have to wear that tank like that. Is that a tank because it's like tights? Listen, I'm just living my like teenager dreams right now. Right? You're cold. You can take it. Mm. Look cold. <gasps> oh, we saw armpit. Fair hill. I am hot. <laughs> 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 Uh, he couldn't even contain it. Oh my god. He literally just jizzed in his pants. We need to like carry him out. I go there every day. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, where is it? Sir? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> They're like, seek or swim, buddy. You gotta figure it out. It's funny how the earth never opens up and swallows you when you want it to. Dr. Gregory dropped his glasses. Why wouldn't he pick them up? I mean, he could have forgot. But they're also like, that's the quintessential like break in glasses that tell you something bad happened. There is nothing ugly about these unique creatures. The reason they live alone is because they're cannibals. Ugh. Wait, are they really? Wait, am I learning right now? Is it to a leaf or twig out of danger? Now, if she's done her job correctly, in a few months she'll have several hundred offspring. Ugh, I don't want to think about it. Any more surprises in my hot dogs? Yeah. I wonder what she sees in me. It's probably the quiet, good looks coupled with a certain smoky magnetism. I mean, every high school had that that one teacher that all the guys thought was hot, right? I think so. I'm trying to think who it was in At my mine, school. it was the French teacher. I mine, I, I didn't know it back then, but I kind of in my heart knew that I was gay. But we did have some hot male teachers that to this day, I'm Ooh. like, wow, I really did have feelings for that man. <laughs> <laughs> what? His head, his head, oh my God, where's his head? Oh, Buffy, I'm sorry. This totally means there's a bunch of giant insect babies somewhere, right? Because the ew, whole ew, the whole ew. thing about praying mantises 
is like after they mate, then the female will like off the head <gasps> of the male. So of course, I mean, like the teacher, the new teacher has to be the praying mantis, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if it's the teacher, then does she mate with the doctor? Maybe. Oh my god. Promise me you won't do anything rash. Cross my heart. Come of on. Course. You should know Buffy by now. <laughs> Is this a vampire? It looks like it. I almost forgot that there's vampires in the show. We gotta bounce. <laughs> both both me and you. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> Who? Do you know Miss French, the teacher that's subbing for Dr. Gregory? Yes, yes, she's lovely. We're in a, a common, extremely Nah, you two Giles. Teachers as a rule. So what's her deal? I think perhaps it would be a good idea if we kept an eye on her. And I better get to class. I mean, if she is secretly a giant bug then it would make sense why all the guys like her because she's just exuding these pheromones that all the oh. men are like picking up on this is this is episode just gonna be called pheromones crisis counsel but i really don't we need all them. need help with our feelings otherwise we bottle them up and before you know it powerful laxatives are involved <laughs> it's surprisingly this principle is so funny he's he's very manic yeah you have to talk to a counselor and start the healing. You have to heal. No, Mr. Flutie, I heal. Don't... Also, forget that his name is Mr. Flutie. I'm not saying that we should kill a teacher every day just so I can lose weight. I'm just saying <laughs> when tragedy strikes, we have to look on the bright side. You know? <laughs> Buffy is like, what the fuck is she talking about? <gasps> oh! oh my god, what? And no one saw well, that. That can't. Yeah, there's big people fucking right behind you. How come Blaine, who worked with her one on one yesterday, isn't here today? Inquiring <gasps> minds want to know. Very, very good point that we need to start checking. Something? No, thanks. I never eat when I'm making egg sacks. <laughs> wow, if it's real, the bugs would be. As big as you. Yeah. Just the word egg sacks makes me quiver. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this has to be the grossest episode. I can't even eat that those uh scorpion lollipops that have like a little like bug inside mm. the lollipop. Yeah, no. Back toy three, her fashion sense screams predator. It's the shoulder pads. Exactly. <laughs> You're right, then she'd have to be a shape. Get her, Willow. Wait, I love that. The fact that they're they're also like, she's a sexual predator. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Beast. Buffy 911. Blaine's mom called the school. He never came home last night. The boy who worked with Miss French yesterday. Yeah. If she truly is hacking the system, mm -hmm. like she better be using incognito mode or something. Better have that NordVPN. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this episode is brought to you by <laughs> this computer invasion that Willow's performing on the coroner's office. One, one assumes it is entirely legal. Entirely. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> this computer, computer invasion. invasion that's a drag name i computer invasion computer invasion i love it leather jackets and while we're on the subject what kind of a girly name is angel anyway what does it have to do nothing it just kind of bugs me also angel is not a girly name at all yeah i actually know a few guys who are named angel no oh, so no no Oh, this Girl, is red no, flags. No. Doot, doot, doot. FBI, open up. <laughs> is, is this too. No, no. It's the most beautiful chest dress I've ever seen. Thank you. That's so much is happening, and it's only episode four. Have you ever been with a woman before? This is where Chris Harrison comes out. Hi, I'm with Dateline NBC, Chris and you're Hansen, on to catch a predator. Mean? Huh? Chris Hansen? Wait, who's Chris Harrison? Chris is, Hansen. <laughs> is it Chris Harrison for The Bachelor? I think so. Oh, 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 oh. Need should definitely be met as long as it doesn't require ointments the next day or... <laughs> do you hear? Yeah, do you hear that? Oh, you hurt your hand. Oh, he's like, I like Buffy. Oh, 
Oh, see, I, I don't like bugs. I don't like people in suits of bugs. I'm not okay with this. Ew, ew. Color pictures. They are teeth marks, which match perfectly the one insect that nips off its prey's head. Okay. I wow, you were on point with that. Oh, Jesus Wait. Christ! Oh God. oh God! Are you alright? Oh I so, some some of the jump scares of these shows actually are pretty good. She, she starts moving and throbbing, and these eggs come shooting out of her. Oh! <laughs> you you were right all along about everything. Well, no, you weren't right about your mother coming back as a Pekingese, but. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to make a show about young Giles. Oh, I would so watch that. You know they just have to cast the right Giles, and it's just like him maybe like training to be this this character. Innocent virgins back to her nest. Virgins? I mean, he's been probably going to die. Willow's like, he's an ultra virgin. We need <laughs> yeah. to fucking save him. Sanders not home. He told his mom he was going to his teacher's house to work on a science project. He didn't tell her where. See if you Wait, so your mom <laughs> knew? <laughs> Think you're gonna need it. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, how close? How close are we? But I do like to think that there's just like a person behind there being like <laughs> moving oh, uh, moving the head. I mean it probably is. I'd like to help you out, but you see, I'm on a fixed income. I'm looking for Miss French. This one? I'm Miss French. Oh, this was a twist. Hold up. Hey, I think it's me, me, mine. No! <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> They're so unserious. They're like, all right, all right, let's do this. Comes. What? What's happening? How do you like your eggs, bro? Over easy or sunny side up? Eggs? Why are we fucking joking? <laughs> you. Me. Oh, come on. Come on, where are you? How does he know? Buffy! Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a steak fence. Yeah, goodbye. Dude had no chance. No. Nope. Help! Help! All right, Buffy. We need to we need to hurry up. <laughs> All right, we got the monster. All right. <laughs> All Go right, let's me. do it. Like what happens to your nervous system when you hear this? Extremely important to file, not simply. Child! <laughs> <laughs> It's the wrong side. It's the wrong <laughs> side. Oh my god. Oh. That was perfect. <laughs> there we go. There we nice. go. There we go. I like that. I always live for like a shadow fight kind of thing now give me some like body parts just flying at me as and I... like goo yes just for the record you are right i'm an idiot and god bless you yes <laughs> hey xander xander's learning it's so unfair how she only went after virgins <laughs> what <All right. laughs> well you didn't have to do that to them i think it's really sweet Certainly nothing I'll ever bring up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta get rid of the eggs. I just, I don't wanna talk about eggs. It's weird, I like eggs, but in uh, insect, you know, discussion, no. So you don't wanna prank mantis omelet? Uh, He's in a V-neck today. I'll forgive him, I'll forgive him for the V-neck. One less vampire walking around making a nuisance of yourself. It's the lips. The lips are just, they look so soft. <laughs> and those cheekbones. And the jawline, all mm. of it. Like, what the fuck? One third of your grade will be dependent on those papers. No more, no less. Yay. <laughs> this is why I say I don't think I could do homework again. No way. 
Uh-uh. <gasps> no! No! What? Stop it. How am I supposed to sleep after that? All right, guys, so that was our reaction to Buffy the Vampire Slayer episodes three and four. And both of them I found to be a lot of fun. Yeah. I feel, I just, they, they were both like, I feel like one-off episodes, except for this one, which seems like it might carry into the next one. Or maybe it's just like a, ooh, you're not oh, there. Oh, you're, you're not, you're not there. Yeah. One, one time randomly, there's gonna be like a baby praying mantis somewhere. Honestly, though, I am loving that we are just like getting these episodes expanding the universe. Yeah. It's more than just vampires. You got witches. You've got giant man-eating bugs. Virgin man-eating bugs. <laughs> And we totally hear your comments. Like, this show is supposed to be campy. Yeah. But we just, you know, we like to, you know, nip and bite and roast a little bit about some of the things because it's just so out there. Yeah. But I, especially Teacher's Pet uh, was very out there, especially them just like joking, joking with each other while there's like this fucking huge ass bug in their face. Um, so I'm, I mean, I'm living for the campiness and I can't wait to finish off the entire season and obviously like the rest of them but guys as usual make sure to comment down below what do you think of these two episodes and make sure to let us know if you're enjoying this journey with us so that way we know that we should continue these um for the rest of the season and a big shout out to our members on patreon thank you so much for all your support we love you all you have no idea how much it means to us if you want to sign up to be on patreon go to patreon.com slash the hard bandwagon that way you can get your name to be at the end of these videos and if you want to unlock exclusive emotes and members only lives and watch alongs you can click the join button below to join our youtube membership thank you so much to those youtube members and those who are both YouTube members and Patreon members, you guys are awesome. But until next time, we have been your choice for heart analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay, and sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.